During a high school graduation ceremony, a nerdy valedictorian named Dennis is thinking about the time when he is arguing with his best friend, Rich. In a flashback, Rich tells Dennis that his crush will forget him right after they graduate. Therefore, Rich convinces Dennis to become a valedictorian at the graduation ceremony, so he can deliver a speech that his crush will remember. When Dennis returns from his thought, the professor calls him to deliver his speech. Dennis walks onto the podium and suddenly proclaims his love for Beth Cooper, the hottest girl in their high school. The audience is in shock by Dennis's sudden confession to Beth. Dennis continued his speech by calling out several of his classmates with the things he wanted to say about them. Dennis calls out a girl named Victoria for her eating disorder and a rich girl named Valley for desperately wanting to be popular. Dennis also calls out his school bully, Greg, who he thinks is bad behavior because of trauma or because his parents don't love him. After that, Dennis even makes fun of Kevin, Beth's boyfriend, who always hangs out at their school because he can't find an adult girlfriend. After Dennis causes a lot of people to become uncomfortable with his speech, Dr. Gleason takes over the podium. After the ceremony, Dr. Gleason approaches Dennis and warns him for delivering that reckless speech. Dennis explains he needs to do that so Beth will remember him as the guy who confesses to her at the graduation ceremony. Dr. Gleason then tells Dennis there will be another girl for him in the future before she leaves. After that, Beth confronts Dennis for embarrassing her in front of everyone. But since Beth thinks Dennis's confession is sweet, she lets it slide. Beth suddenly removes her graduation robe because it is so hot when she wears it, and Dennis enjoys seeing his crush do that. When Rich shows up, Dennis invites Beth to a party at his house later. But then, Kevin shows up and harasses Dennis for humiliating him and Beth at today's ceremony. Luckily, Dr. Gleason notices it and tries to de-escalate their situation. On their way back, Rich asks Dennis talks about today's event. Dennis tells Rich he doesn't want to take Rich's love advice anymore after what happened today. Rich argues that his idea is the best, but Dennis calls him out for being single this whole time but pretends to give advice and tips like a pro. Rich also tells Dennis that he hasn't gotten a girlfriend either, except for a girl named Patty, whom Dennis is ashamed of. After that, Rich asks what Dennis's parents got him for his graduation and learns that Dennis received an iPod. But when Dennis asks what Rich got, he tells Dennis that his father gave him a bill and a total of $230,000 of debt to his father. Upon hearing that, Dennis pities his best friend for having a parent like that. Later that day, Dennis and Rich prepare for their tonight's party. While Dennis is busy making the preparation, Rich tells him that Beth wouldn't come and maybe no one will come to their party. Dennis's parents then show up and advise them before they leave. Dennis's dad even offers them a bottle of champagne for tonight, and Dennis's mother asks them to be responsible for everything. While Dennis's mother waits in the car, his father asks Dennis to have fun tonight. His father even tells Dennis to use rubbers inside his bedroom if Dennis wants to goofy around with someone tonight. After Dennis's parents leave, Dennis and Rich wait for their guests outside. Soon after, Beth, Cammy, and Trees unexpectedly arrive at the party. Dennis asks if Kevin and his friend are also coming, but Beth tells him that Kevin won't be joining them. Dennis asks Beth and her friend to come inside, and the situation becomes awkward as soon as they enter the house. Furthermore, Dennis and Rich accidentally joke about something offensive to Beth, making the situation worse. After they apologize to Beth, she receives a call from Kevin and leaves for a moment. Therese asks Dennis to get her some beer, but they only have champagne. While Dennis opens the champagne bottle for their guest, Rich goes to grab the rubbers that Dennis's father mentioned before. When Dennis sees what Rich has in his hand, he drops the bottle and falls to the floor. Beth rushes to help Dennis while her friends laugh at him. She asks Rich to get her some ice to treat Dennis's wound, but Rich gives her a cold pancake instead. Dennis apologizes to Beth for being pathetic, but Beth tells him that all boys are pathetic in her eyes. He then apologizes on behalf of all boys, and Beth finds him funny for doing that. Beth asks Dennis if he is feeling any better but realizes something is poking her while she sits on top of Dennis. Beth takes that as a good sign meaning that Dennis isn't hurt badly. After Beth returns to her seat, Dennis gets up while simultaneously hiding his pipe. At the same time, Rich tries to hide the rubbers, but Tree snatches them from him. Tree jokingly refers to it as the party balloons, and Beth asks if that is what Dennis and Rich planned. Dennis denies it and tells them that those are his dad's. After seeing something suspicious like the rubbers, Beth decides to leave with her friends. Dennis tries to convince them to stay, but Beth insists on leaving. As a small gift for inviting her, Beth kisses Dennis's cheeks. Before they leave, Kevin and his boys somehow arrive at Dennis's house. Dennis tries to prevent the bullies from entering his house but fails. When Kevin and his friends are inside, he ignores Beth and vandalizes Dennis's home. Dennis and Rich then run upstairs to escape Kevin as he chases them. They then lock themselves inside Dennis's bedroom while Kevin smashes the door open. Dennis uses his toy sword to fight Kevin, while Kevin grabs a skeleton's arms and uses it as an nunchaku. Kevin easily beats Dennis while Rich sneakily leaves his friend by jumping out of the window. Beth shows up and smashes Kevin's head with the skeleton skull. 
she tells Dennis to escape while Kevin is knocked out, and Dennis obliges. As Rich falls from the pipe, Kevin shoved Dennis down from the rooftop. They then crawl away, but Kevin and his friends still pursue them. When Dennis reaches the road, Beth accidentally hits him with her car. Beth tells Dennis and Rich to get inside and then drives the car away to escape Kevin and his friends. After they reach safety, Dennis tells Beth that she can't stop driving so fast. However, her friends tell Dennis that Beth always drives recklessly like this, no matter what. Dennis thanks Beth for rescuing him and Rich today. But Beth tells Dennis she is doing this for Kevin's sake because she doesn't want Kevin to get court-martialed for hurting a civilian. Dennis borrows Beth's phone to call his parents, but his parents don't pick up the call as they don't recognize the number. Dennis leaves a voice note to inform his parents of what happened today and asks his parents to call Beth's number to contact him later. However, Beth suddenly realizes that Kevin might be tracking her phone's GPS, so she throws the phone away. After that, Kevin turns on the radio, and they sing together. Beth then stops her car at the nearby gas station to grab some beers. When Beth asks what beer Dennis likes, Dennis tries to impress her by saying he loves all kinds of beers. When they go to the cashier, the cashier asks Beth what is wrong with her boyfriend's face. However, Beth then tells the cashier that Dennis is her little brother, and his face is wounded because their dad beat him. The cashier then asks for Beth's ID before she pays for the beers. Beth gives him a fake ID, and the cashier notices that. After she fails to convince the cashier, Beth offers to kiss him if he allows her to buy the liquor. The cashier agrees as Dennis witnesses it. Dennis is shocked to see his crush act like that. Dennis then spontaneously says that Beth is not Beth Cooper he dreams of, causing them all to be silent for a moment. Later that night, they hang around a campfire while drinking. Suddenly, a song titled Kiss Beth plays on Dennis's iPod. Cammy, Treese, and Rich notice the situation and decide to leave the two for a moment. Beth tells Dennis that her parents named her after this song, and Dennis thinks it is awesome. Meanwhile, the trios find themselves in a field full of cows and decide to fool around. Back at the couple, Dennis asks about Beth's plans after graduating. Beth then tells him that she hasn't figured it out yet. Beth asks why Dennis said she wasn't Beth Cooper, and Dennis feels bad for saying that. Dennis tells her that he doesn't mean it, but Beth suddenly asks if she is not what Dennis dreams she is. Dennis hesitantly admits it and tells Beth that she doesn't have to act that way because she is better than that. Meanwhile, the cows that Rich and the girls disturb are now fighting back and chasing them. Rich returns to the campfire, screaming that a cow bit him. They laugh at Rich's misfortune, but Dennis's commentary ruins the fun. After that, they continue driving off while Beth recklessly drives her car with no headlight. Dennis begs Beth to turn on her headlight, and when she turns it on, she accidentally bumps into the side of a parked car. When the car owner gets out, Dennis realizes that it is his parents' car that Beth just bumped. When Dennis is about to leave Beth's car, Beth convinces Dennis not to go and then drives her car away. After that, they arrive at a party held by Valley, their rich classmate, which Dennis humiliates today. With no other choice, Dennis and Rich follow the girls to the party. The two nerds feel out of place at this party as Rich tells Dennis that his party is way better. From the balcony, Dennis sees Beth hanging out with some jocks and realizes that she is what she is. Dennis then goes to the bathroom and leaves Rich alone on the balcony. Before Dennis finds the toilet, Greg, the bully Dennis humiliated at today's graduation ceremony, grabs him away. Dennis apologizes to Greg for what he said, but Greg suddenly cries and leans on Dennis's shoulder. It turns out that Dennis's word about Greg was true because he truly has a personal trauma. Greg apologizes to Dennis for bullying him all these years. Greg then asks if he can call Dennis later to talk about his trauma and then hug Dennis to comfort himself. Ultimately, Dennis becomes a friend of the boy who used to bully him. When Dennis returns to meet Rich, Rich tells Dennis that his advice for today's speech is a good idea. Dennis disagrees with that because everything that happened today is because of that speech he made. However, Rich tells Dennis that Dennis now realizes the true nature of his longtime crush all because of the speech. But Dennis still defends Beth by saying that she is better than that. Soon after, Patty, Dennis's ex, shows up with Victoria. Victoria thanks Dennis for his speech, which made her realize her wrongdoing. When they ask what happens to Dennis's face, Rich tells them that Kevin hurt Dennis because he got jealous of seeing Dennis with Beth. When Patty tells them that Kevin is upstairs, the two rush out, but Beth stops them midway. Unfortunately, Valley, who at the same time is making out with Kevin, notices Dennis at her party. Beth confronts her cheating boyfriend and asks him to stop bullying Dennis. But he stubbornly ignores her and drags Dennis to the living room. Kevin and the crowd shove Dennis around as Dennis asks for someone to help him. Before Kevin hurts Dennis, Valley approaches him and rants to Dennis for humiliating her today. Their gym teacher intervenes but instead acts as a referee. Dennis insists on not fighting with Kevin. He admits losing to Kevin and apologizes to him. Dennis tells Kevin he successfully humiliates Dennis in front of everyone, and Dennis surrenders unconditionally. After that, Kevin suddenly punches Dennis and make him fall. 
While Kevin taunts Dennis, Greg suddenly shows up and shoves Kevin down. When Kevin's friends decide to join, Greg easily beats them down. The gym teacher tries to intervene, and Greg also knocks him out. Kevin gets up and kicks Greg's face several times. After knocking Greg down to a table, Kevin grabs Dennis again. But before he hits Dennis, Beth crushes the living room walls by hitting them with Kevin's car. Beth urges Dennis to get inside the car, but Kevin prevent him from escaping. Greg suddenly pulls Kevin away and knocks him out with a punch. After that, the group reunites and leaves with Kevin's car. Dennis rant to Beth for breaking so many laws and almost hits him with a military car owned by an enraged ape she calls her boyfriend. They argue about tonight's event, but Beth doesn't seem to care. They arrive at their school a while later, as Beth has the key to the building. The girls and Rich then do a cheerleader dance in front of Dennis to cheer him up. After that short goofy moment, Dennis notices Beth expressing her sadness and then hiding it back with her reckless girl persona. The girls then go to the school shower room, and Rich asks Dennis to go along. Dennis refuses at first but then decides to go. Dennis acts shy when he arrives in the shower room, but the girls tell him to join them. Rich convinces Dennis not to overthink too much and live the moment. But when Dennis is about to enter the shower, Kevin and his friends show up and harass Dennis again. Dennis tries to avoid Kevin until Rich comes out and slaps their nuts with a wet towel. Rich tells Dennis and the girls to escape while he holds Kevin and his friends. While the others escape, Rich fights the three men alone and manages to catch up with his friends. After they escape, Tree says they should go to her father's cabin, but Dennis wants to go home. Beth tells Dennis he's the one who started all these events with his speech and confession to Beth, whom he barely knows. Dennis then mentions that Beth said his confession was sweet and even decided to come to Dennis's party. However, Cammy reveals they went to his house to make fun of him. Dennis is saddened by what Cammy said, while Beth feels bad for it. Beth apologizes to Dennis and admits what Cammy said was true. Beth tells Dennis that many boys always confess to her, but she knows they are after something else from her. To cheer her up, Dennis makes fun of himself and manages to make Beth laugh. Beth tells Dennis he smells like a corpse and asks him to take off his clothes. When Beth tries to dry Dennis's clothes from the window, she accidentally loses them on the road, leaving Dennis only with his underwear. Dennis and Beth then traverse the muddy road to find his lost clothes. Dennis asks why Beth becomes Kevin's girlfriend, and Beth tells how she felt proud being chosen by Kevin. Beth also tells Dennis how she wants to feel wanted, while many boys only after her for a one-night stand. Beth then asks why Dennis confesses to her with his speech. Dennis explains how he adores Beth and wants to talk to her, but he can't. Since the speech is his last chance, Dennis decides to do it. Upon arriving at the cabin, they continue partying and drinking. When the morning comes, Dennis and Beth decide to watch the sunrise together. As they sit by the lake, Dennis confirms his love for Beth even after he learns the real Beth is not what he imagined all this time. Beth tells Dennis his future is bright while her life will be nothing more than ordinary after graduating high school. But Dennis thinks Beth will live an amazing life since she is the most amazing person Dennis has ever met. In the end, the two kisses under the sunrise and share a serene moment together. When they return to Dennis's home, his father asks if he had fun, and Dennis says he did. Dennis and Beth say goodbye and then end it with a kiss. Beth thanks Dennis for loving her, and Dennis tells her he will marry her if they meet again in the future. Beth takes that as a promise and leaves. As the two nerds walk inside, Rich gives Dennis another crazy love advice. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.